What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today I'm super excited to be continuing my Galaxy S10 coverage. I finally have the Galaxy S10 Plus in the house. Finally got my model from T-Mobile and AT&T in today. So these are the US Snapdragon 855 models. But I noticed something very interesting that I kind of want to pass along to everyone else here in the US because it's something you might notice with your device as well if you pre-ordered or if you're picking it up this weekend. Now a lot of you know that I've been using the international Exynos model of the smaller S10 right here for the past few days. That's what I've been making my videos with. And if you go into the display settings, you'll notice that out of the box on the international model that I received anyway, and a couple of other people have noticed this as well, if you go to the screen mode right here, you'll notice that the color mode profile is set to vivid by default. Now the vivid colors sort of give you more saturated colors, uh, which Samsung has been known for in the past on their displays. And if you turn it to natural, you'll notice that the colors are quite a bit more washed out. You can kind of see the difference here and how they sort of punch up a little bit right there within the color screen mode menu. So when I pulled my Galaxy S10 Plus and also my Galaxy S10 Snapdragon variants out of the box today uh, from T-Mobile and AT&T, I was using the phone for a while and I couldn't quite figure out why the color profile seems so different. And I flipped over to the display settings and I took a look at the screen mode, and it turns out that the AT&T and T-Mobile variants of the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S10 that I received here in the US were set to the natural setting by default. Now, it's not a bad thing at all, but if you're someone who likes those punchy, saturated colors, and you feel like your screen is a little washed out, which is what I thought, because I was comparing it to the Galaxy S10, which had the vivid mode on, you can go ahead and just hit vivid mode, it'll turn it on, and it'll give you that more saturated color profile. So all of the reds are gonna be a little more punchy uh, and all of the other things are really gonna stand out quite a bit more. Now obviously this is just a personal choice but I thought it's something that I would mention. I don't know if this is something that's going on with all the US models or maybe all of the models in North America. So I'm kind of curious if people wanna chime in with their experience uh, below and let me know what's going on with your particular display mode. Now since I'm already talking about the display mode, I might as well mention one other thing. Once you actually turn on vivid mode, there's a couple other things you can do here as well. You can adjust the white balance. So quite a few people over on Twitter were asking me uh, if their screen looks a little too yellow, a little too warm, what can you do? Well, some of the screens, you know, displays are naturally a little more yellow than others. You can turn the temperature down to a little bit cooler here if you want. You can also go into the advanced settings and you can adjust the RGB balance here so if your screen looks a little too green or a little too blue, uh, whatever, if you have a reddish tint, all these sort of issues that we've seen crop up in the past on phone launches, you can play with all those settings uh, there if you're using Vivid Profile. Now if you're using the Natural Profile, you'll notice there really isn't any ability to change or play around with RGB or the uh, sort of yellow and white balance there that we saw in the other setting. Personally, I like the Vivid Mode better. I know a lot of people out there who are artists, uh, photographers, videographers, uh, naturally like the natural mode, and maybe that's why it was set there sort of in the beginning by Samsung. Again, very curious to hear other people's experience. If you've got a Galaxy S10 today or if you pick up one this weekend, let me know which mode your display is set to. Maybe we can find out exactly what Samsung had in mind here, or maybe if it was just done in a random way. Anyway, guys, that's a quick video just talking about this. I'll have a lot more coverage this week. Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below. I'll be doing battery life, camera reviews, and a comparison of the Exynos as well as with the Snapdragon 855. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at Twitter, Google+, Instagram, links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.